I just can't see my spear. I know I had it <laughs> with my starting equipment, but I don't see it in my yeah, inventory. Because they get... You get uh, javelins. Well, it'll just be <clears throat> an attack roll. Just be d20 plus strength plus proficiency. Alright. Um, yeah, because I'm not d20 seeing it in, in my inventory anyway. d20 plus what? Eight, probably? What's your strength? My strength is... 18, so... Yeah, so plus eight. D20 plus eight. Okay. Ooh. 13. Yeah, that will not cut it. Um, that would have normally hit, but being that he's pretty much entirely behind that doorway, uh, it just sort of boom and deflects off the um, deflects off the steel banding holding the logs of the door together. Clatters to the ground. Uh, would that be your turn? Yeah, that'll. Or would be you good. like some movement? Um, I guess I'll just move to the side here to give people more space to come in. Okay. Cool, Zulu. Um, he is going to just fly down the hallway here. And then dash. Okay. Alright, let me get my reveal-y thing. The long hallway, and you would see in through the doorway. Yep. Cool. Yep, that's uh, that's him done. Cool, bad demon. Oh, you also uh, would have this, seen this... in that way. Kitchen. This uh, this door's closed, isn't it? Like the yes. one next to the been happening. Cool. Yes, the tier. This one's open down here. Okay. Uh. Yeah, right. Oh, sorry, I've been doing this wrong. So he he shares my initiative count. So he doesn't... I don't know why we have him in the initiative order. Oh, okay. I'll just put him as 19. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but yeah, because I can take a bonus action on my turn to... Da, 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 da. So with um, for 120 feet. Okay, so would I be able to get? Because like he's in range of me there, but would I be able to see him? Or like similar kind of thing to Sugo. Like I can take some shots, but he's. I'd say gonna have, he's not. Gonna I'd cover. say it'd be full cover from where you are. He what could maybe. Like, what about if I move up to like there? Do you reckon I could draw a bead? I mean, you can try. He's he's fairly well behind. So, that like, door if there. if I can see if I can see part of him, I can take a shot at him. But if, yeah. if all I literally see is a door with a club kind of sticking out, yeah, like there's the smallest part of his hand. Like, he could try, but it'll be a tough shot to hit. Um. Yeah, that's okay. So, probably not a tough shot might... for you guys being eleven, but. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, Very so first, yeah, the uh, force ballista up first. You. Okay, so that would slam against the door. Mm -hmm. Just sort of rock it a little bit, um, like pushes the door a little bit into the uh, the giant behind it. Mm -hmm. And I'll um, yeah, firebolt as my action. Okay, what what's three quarter? Is it five AC? Uh, yeah, I yeah. think so. Then that would hit. So you sort of aim for the club itself, um, and it it splashes a bit onto onto the hand holding it. Cool. So that is twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Nice. Fire damage. I do the uh, like the firefly trick again. Like just point my finger and go, hey, my pretties." <laughs> Bunch of. Yeah, little mechanical fireflies. Yep. Alrighty. Would not believe your Shot. eyes. <laughs> Belch bags, fireflies. <laughs> okay, so all hell is beginning to break loose. Um, so from the kitchens, you can hear a lot of voices sort of milling in in confusion, 
and you hear a door slam. Now, in that room, uh, you're not looking through the imp's eyes, so you don't actually know what's there. But into the hallway, you see some... Um, you begin to see smaller hill giants. Not not quite... Well, not as small as an ogre, somewhere in between. Um, and they begin to come out into the hallway and look around a bit. Um, these guys would sort of... Yeah, they'd, they'd sort of bunch up in, in that space. And... These guys... Cool. Um, there's a lot of pieces to move. <laughs> oh, they would go on two, three... Four. That's a lot of boys. Yes. As I said, this is quite a complex, complex environment. Um, there's a lot of yeah. pieces that I need to consider. Um, so, that is about all of their turns. Direwolves. Now, you can't see this, so I might hide it again. Can't see anything out here, actually. Oh, that's the reveal. Whoops. <laughs> Shloop. And you definitely can't see in there. Alright. So I'm taking... Sorry, bear with me. I'm rolling dice on my end. All right, cool, cool, cool. Their turn. Aurelian, you are up. So there is quite quite a cluster in the middle there. It's uh, everyone's sort of meeting at this junction. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I just want to fly 10, 20, 30, and then dismount the broom and stash it in the bag of holding. Okie dokie. Which I assume is my action. Uh, yes, that would take your action to put it away. Can I draw my moonsickle as my bonus action? Sure thing. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. I'd, I'd say that wouldn't take your bonus if you have another bonus. You, you can... I, I don't really have it. Yeah, okay. else to that's do. fine. You, right now. Oh, you okay, well, level one. Yeah, no, no, no. Hang on. Can't what are you saying? Shape? Can't you wild shape as a bonus? Um, I could. Um, I was also just thinking if I can pull out the moonsickle without using my bonus action, I'll just um, healing word uh uh sugo okay because if i'm holding the just the level one i get basically double efficiency off it but might as well mm -hmm. all righty so you pull it out mutter a few words and this small wisp of green sort of floats over to him um so yeah that plus, plus a d4 a yep. nine nice. heals yeah yeah that's it very nice so you heal for nine Vradoth, your turn. Um, okay, so Vradoth is kind of assuming that these uh, ogres are seizing their freedom. Um, and that is very inspiring to him. But he's now going to consider um, the wolves and their exit. So he's going to come back here and shut these two doors. Okay. So he's shutting these ones, yeah? Yeah, yeah, cool. the, yeah, the double doors in this hallway. Cool beans, no worries. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, I can't really do much else, so... Um, I'll just kind of step back down into the hallway a little bit. Okay. Alright, so, hill giant turn. Um, you hear his voice ringing out, We got a fight on our hands! Uh, and in in amidst everything that is in this space, he sort of wades through them, like pushing them aside, um, and standing standing in the hallway, he sees uh, Aurelian and and what's your name, Sugo, across Sugo the way, is and he is going to piff a. Now that is a 21. 
And that's going to be... Have you taken damage last turn, or did your rage drop? No, so he threw the spear. Oh, so threw the spear. Oh, you dude. attacked. Yep, true. Yeah. All right, so you take 12 bludgeoning. That's already halved. So this... It's it's like a small boulder to you, Aurelian, but it's it's a fairly hefty hand-sized rock for you, oh, he Sugo. Oh, me. No, no, no. Hit Sugo. He, oh, okay, cool. he can't really see you past Sugo. Um, but yeah, piffs a rock across and that smashes into you. Um, and you hear him start to talk down, like in amongst all the voices going on, you hear him talking to those around him. Uh, Sugo, it would be your turn. Um, can I make my way past these dudes? Um, yeah, they're technically allies, so you could move through their space, yes. Yeah, so I can go boink this Now those ones, there. you will not be able to move through. So those two are fine. Like the, the ones closest to you are so fine. So these ones... I can move through, but not these yeah, ones. They're allied with you, but those ones don't appear to be allied with you. Okay. Um, since, you know, they've just come out of the kitchen. And they didn't get spoken to by the other ones that ran down here? Not that you can see. Okay. Maybe I'll move down here, and then I'll say to them, Hey, we are here to free you. You can ask him. And then I point to the leader. Um, so, just a note, these ones are not ogres. These are smaller hill giants. Oh, they're not ogres. Oh, no. oh. I just didn't have another. So, the, the five that came out of the kitchen, or six, I think it was five. Um, five that came out of the kitchens are smaller hill giants. So, youngsters. Okay. Um, so, these guys are ogres and these are hill giants? Um, note, these are hill giants. Small. These are ogres. Um, how do we... Okay. Yeah. There's a yeah. reason for it. Just roll with it's it. It's a bit... Let die work no, no, like, kids. differentiating between the, them. It's like yep. them, cause Yeah, the I'll, I'll tell spot. you if yeah. which one's which. That's yeah. <laughs> so I guess in that case, I'll just Sugo smash this guy's head off. Okay. Make that attack roll. Wait, what was that advantage that the thing had on me? Didn't, um... Red Dolph? Damon given the help action? Nah, Zulu no, did, but Zulu. Zulu's arm was against a different guy, but so... Don't forget, oh, okay. you, can, you can reckless attack, which means you have advantage. But then I have less, um... Um... Defense, no, they, right? And they have yeah, advantage. they get advantage. Then. They get advantage on me. But you are also a giant yeah. sack of hit points, so... I mean, it's up to you, but just as remembering that that's... Half, half a sack of hit points. Yeah, yeah, half, I have yeah. half HP right now. I... Yeah, I wouldn't do it. But, I don't yeah. want to give them the extra yeah, yep. so I'll just As well as it. it's going to be like advantage times six or however many hits yeah. you're about to cop. Yeah. So I'll give them a bonk. So okay. Yeah. Uh, that does hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus All three. the damage. <laughs> 2d6 plus a d4 plus three. Okay. So this first one takes. That is a hit. 13, 4, and 6. And it has to make a save. Does? Yep. Strength, is it? Prone, yeah. Uh, it is still standing. Okay, so I'll take another whack. Alright. Oh, oh, that's a big boy. Oh, yeah. And you get so bonus two. damage for being a barbarian. Okay, so one, one at a time. <laughs> roll your extra, well, roll your damage, then all your other things. Okay, so it's two, is it two times the damage. Mm -hmm. So roll your damage roll normally. Okay, and... and then you get another D twelve with rage a, from, from brutal critical. Yeah, so it's <laughs> brutal critical. You can starting at ninth level, you can roll one additional weapon damage die. So it's one D twelve. Then 2d12 for the twi the crit, and then 3d12 for this ability. Yeah. So that's 23, okay. 26, Jesus 36, <laughs> that's some nice damage. 45, no, 43, 47. Um, yes, you, needless to say, 
The first hit sort of like he's holding like pots and pans. Um and he sort of roars roars in your face and you you do an attack and he sort of tries to block it with the pan, but it sort of slashes through a bit. And then the second you just overhand strike both hands, smash it, and it cleaves straight into his skull and he drops dead. Oh, oh so that slice him in half. Like uh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm super sane right now, keep in mind. Yep. Does he does he fall prone? He, he falls <laughs> dead. <laughs> uh, yes, so that is quite the cleave. I still have my bonus attack. You do. So the guy next to him, after like chopping him in half, I'm going to swing right at the side of his neck. Okie doke, so just letting you know, the one next to him is a ogre. Oh. Right, okay. but so it, he's an it ogre. came out of the uh, the feasting room. Okay, so you can still move up and then attack. Yeah, like you then I'll hit, and then I'll attack, attack and then I'll attack this bloke, the hill giant. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my god! Wait, so why'd you roll twice? Because the first one was when I thought I was attacking him. So, why are you taking that roll? Well, yeah, you rolled a one. Is that not your attack? It was when I thought I was attacking him, but then I moved to attack this one. But that, yeah, okay, you'll, you can take the first one. That's fine. Well, we had we had both high and low. I'll be fair. Just roll again, okay. and this is your attack against the hill giant. Okay. Yeah, because I thought like that one was null. All good. Yep, that is a hit. One. One. 26. He will make a strength save. Uh, that is a 13, so he's knocked prone. He falls down. So he falls wow. on his ass. Um, and yeah, your axe is like slick with blood at this point. Smashed him to his to his ass. Uh, Zulu. Um... I'm going to get him to... Uh, is this guy in the corner here a giant or an ogre? He is a giant. A smaller right. hill uh, giant. So yeah, uh, Zulu's going to use the help action for Sugo on this guy. Okay. Um, he's going to fly down and like bite his toe. To <laughs> Okie dokie. No worries. Uh, Belch and Bat. Yeah. How, um... How tall are the ceilings in here again? Uh, so it's about 20 to 25 feet in, in these rooms. Okay. Uh, cool. Like Would I... So this this one is... So I know that that one in front of Sugo is a giant. Is this one in this corner here? Is that a giant yes. or an ogre? He, yeah, is, he is a hill giant youngster. Okay, cool. What are you doing? I am measuring to see if it's oh, in okay. range. Uh, yeah, but I'll move. Oh, wait. So I'll move up yep. 10, 20, 30. Would I be able to, like, as my free interaction, instead of, like, drawing a weapon, like, draw my broom of flying and hop on it? Uh, that'll probably take your bonus. Um, okay. I'll, 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 I'll let Aurelian yeah. hop off and put his away for a bonus, so I'd say the yeah, reverse yeah. would also be. Um, yeah, well, in that case, I'll, I'll just stay on foot, and okay. then I'll pew pew. So, at yeah, at the at the youngster in the corner. Okay, so he's he's like the same height as the ogres, pretty much. Um, it's there are a lot of bodies in the way between you mm. and him, and you're tiny. Okay, well, maybe as as my bonus action, can I like get on the broom mm -hmm. and? fly up so that gives me another 20 foot yeah like that that would give you like enough perspective ceiling, so i'm like yep. i've got like an angle mm -hmm. downwards kind of thing yeah you'd have a much yeah. better view from up there yeah yeah so i'll mm -hmm. i'll do that and um and pew pew yep nice that is a hit all right 17 fire damage so swarms of flaming little buggers Mm -hmm. fly out and just sort of pepper his form and he's ah, ah, 
trying to swat them away. Uh, is Bat Damon doing anything or? No, he's just dodging. He's still in loincloth land. He, he is. He's burrowing into the most protective crevices he can find. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, now it is everyone else's turn. Alright, bloody hell. You probably won't be able to see stuff because a lot of different things are happening. That all good. All right, uh, so um, the ones in this room would sort of equip themselves with whatever they can find. So it won't be as big a damage as you'd expect. Uh, all right, so we've got a million giants. No, not a million giants. So from here, um, this bloke will piff a javelin at you, Sugo. And that is a 21. Yep. Uh, so you'll take eight piercing. That's already halved. So he just sort of... <laughs> And throws his javelin at you. Uh, this guy will make an attack with... It won't be the damage of his great club. Or the bonus. Uh, so, uh, 17. Mm -hmm. from, from this guy, sort of reaching out the doorway. Makes a slash at you with a kitchen knife. And... and the kitchen knife. Nice. Kitchen knife, nice. You take up oh, like this one. <laughs> oh, gee, that's even worse. Uh, so you take seven reduced to three slashing damage. Oh, owie. And um, the two, uh, what are they? The two, the two ogres from this side will also take a take a whack at you. Oh, the ogres are fighting with these guys, yeah. Fighting. Okay. Because you haven't interacted with these ones by yeah, by yeah. all accounts. Uh, yeah, that's why you couldn't move through them, basically. Yeah. All right. Uh, so a sixteen and a twenty-three to hit. They hit. They both hit, and uh, it'll be. I'm just rounding a bit. Oh no, those ones would have their weapon. So it's five bludgeon and seven bludgeon. So they're just sort of like hitting you with these these clubs. They're kind of spiked, so it does hurt, but not nearly as much as the great clubs from the from the big giants. Um, and your guys sort of um, they're a little bit hesitant to to attack their own. They can't really get to the hill giants young. Um, what would they do in the meantime? They could have a talk to the ones that just hit me. In in the middle of combat, with yeah. like javelins flying and that sort of stuff, that would yeah. not be their priority. These are these are ogres, so like their their in their instinct would take over, and um, yeah, they're in combat mode basically. Uh, in my sorry. secret service. I'm just moving Bat Damon out the way. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because he's not actually there, is he? Um, well, no, he's on. He's on Sugo. Yeah. So. Any cloth? He's in Sugo. Um, using some improvised weapons, they're going to attack the uh, the young giant in the corner there. So just like throw any sharp objects they have. Oh, that's a crit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he just like he chucks some random blade that they've been wagering on 
and it it flips through the air over the giants fighting and then just <laughs> stabs him in the face. Uh, it's it like that really annoying kid. It was like yeah. the boss's kid and he was in like absolute little dick. He was a D-hole. He's like, ooh, I want to get my revenge on him. Um, he's obviously Boy. got some bad blood. So that's going to do 17 damage to him, um, oh, which damn, is pretty nice. amazing. I'm, I'm just sort of rounding down numbers because they're not using normal Great Club stuff. Um, and the other one did hit as well. And that'll probably be about eight damage, something like that. So, like, just a, a shower of sharp objects fall down on this guy. And, uh, yeah, he takes a bit of damage there. And... The annoying little kid who, like, always flamed them when they were playing COD. Yeah. Or, well, he would have beaten them because he's taller than them. That's his duty. Oh, also, and then also beat them up. Yep. And then also whacked them good. Um, all right. So... Meh, meh. Aurelian, you're up. Um, I can't occupy any of these squares that have the ogres on our side on it, can I? Because are they two to a square, or what's the go? Yeah, they're pretty tightly packed. Um, mm. The only reason Sugo could get through them was he was moving past, and he's also a lot bigger than them, so he could sort of push them out of the way. He can muscle his way through. Yeah, I'd say you might struggle to get past I them. Yeah, you yeah, your... yeah, I'm just checking ranges. No, I'm Aren't on you on your broom? Oh, nope, okay. I am on foot. Yeah, he stuffed it back in the bag. Um, yeah, I'm going to bonus action astral form, form of the chalice. Okay. Oh, actually, no, form of the dragon. Now that sounds on, pretty badass. Now that sounds yeah, kind of sexy. Boss. That sounds kind of kinky. And I'm going to cast at third level uh, Healing Spirit centered on Sugo. Okay. Well, that's a lot of text. Yeah. Dragon. And um, did the chair. Now, no, when you said chair, dragon. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, didn't do 10 heal? Oh, right. No, no, yeah. No, I was yeah trying to share this. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've cast that, so that's fine. Um, and that'll be plus four. Plus your moon sickle. Oh, okay. So at the start. Yeah, that's the moon sickle. Okay. So at the start of the um, yeah, he goes turn. He gets two d six plus four. Wow, um, that's that's nice ongoing health. The intent of spirit, blah blah blah, until the spirit ends. Whenever you or a creature you see moves into the spirit it? space for the first time, does that count when I create it or no? Sorry, where were you reading? Um, I'm reading from Healing Spirit, like the second yeah. uh, paragraph, until the spell ends. Whenever you or a creature you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time it or on a turn it. starts its yeah. turn there, like moves into the spirit space, does that yeah, count yeah. as when I create it on him? Yes, that's technically him moving into its space, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, so then, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, that heals him for 14, and I think that's all... I, yeah, that's all I can do. Cool. Uh, I want to move forward 10 feet. All right. So you're sort of at the yeah, back of the uh, of the ogres? Yep. Um, all right, so, yeah, this, this glowing aura begins to, to swirl around in that space there's a lot going on and sugo you feel you know some of your wounds sort of knit back together you feel ribs unbreak slightly or at least click back into place um yeah very nice uh, for our doth you are up yep uh so i'm going to run down this hallway and then action to dash so 10 20 30 40 50 60 um, and that is all I can do. Okie doke. Man, oh, it's right. kind of a shame that these all got turned into allies. Belchbag has the biggest fireball boner right now. <laughs> looking at that, looking at that map. Yeah, like I've got some <laughs> <early> spells too <laughs> that would like do ridiculous damage, but yeah. <laughs> Stupid sexy Sugo, his persuasiveness. You know it. Um, just moving Impy 
Yeah, because no he's in that square. It's like we're nothing at all. Nothing like, at I'm all. wearing nothing at all. I mean, oh. Sugo is basically wearing and nothing. Sugo at all. is basically wearing nothing at all. Yep. Uh, all right, so the hill giant in front of you is just going to roar in your face and he's going to attempt to smash the crap out of you with his big tree trunk. Uh, that's probably a miss. So 14 oh. and a 17. 17 hit. Yep, so that's 11 bludgeoning damage. Nice. And so you see through the through the doors, um, two more hill giants come into the hallway, um, trying to find space where they can, and they both will toss a rock at you. Uh, 18 and a 27. Yep. Oof. So that's seven bludgeon and five. I've already I'm already halving for you just to save time. So two rocks smash into you. Um and that is that is Hill Giant's turn. Okay, uh, Sugo, you're up. Oh, so Sugo Angie, Sugo's gonna try chop this dude's head clean off. Okie doke. Well, that'll definitely hit. Yep, nice. Uh, eight six six. Yep, and he'll make a strength save. 11. So he hits the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Nice. Let the bodies hit the floor. So his giant ass just smashes onto the ground, causing quite a thud. Your next attack will be at advantage. That's a hit. Woo! 17. That's a big boy. Why is it? Oh, Why is okay. that? Yeah, a green so and a red. <laughs> I thought the same thing. I was like, why was it blue? Yeah, I was like, what does purple weird. mean? That's unique. Big hit. 17, really 7, um, and 7. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 7. He is hanging right on by a thread. Uh, and you still have one more attack. Oh. Alright, I team up like I'm about to, you know, putt <laughs> for that winning... You know, <laughs> I need to I need to get into one putt to win this golf round. So I'm teeing him up. All right. Choppy said clean off. So he's he's sort of prone on the floor. There's so much blood around and massive gashes. Um, like yeah. one of his arms is almost hacked off. And you line so him I, up. I lift my. I, I just. It's all in the hips. You know? It's all in up. the hips. It's all in. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. are you doing an upper like sweep up? Yeah, like like you would when you're driving in golf. Yeah, when, like when you're teeing off. So you yeah. you basically cut him from crumb to head, and oh. he, he you don't cut all the way through him, but you cut enough of him back to like the spine that he just sort of splits in half, and just gore goes everywhere behind him, splattering the the young hill hill giant behind. Does that intimidate them somewhat? <laughs> <laughs> Look. It's it's a big hit, that's for sure. These are these are beings that know violence. Um, and don't forget, Sugo, since you started your turn in the healing spirit, you get that healing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, does Aurelian roll it or do I? Aurelian roll. I think Aurelian does. Yeah, because oh, he gets both rolls in it. Nice. Is it plus your? Ability mod? Ah, uh, no. Healing Spirit does not get that benefit. So nine healies. Still better than nothing. What well up? Yeah. So it is. Is it a last yeah. like a minute sort of deal? To concentration, it can heal a, a one plus my spellcasting modifier, which is four. So it's half done. Okay. Cool. Cool beans. Yeah, so one. It's the end, Osugo. Unless you would like to move. Um. If you do move. Uh... Uh, no, you wouldn't um, provoke attack of opportunity. I guess I could move behind. Wait, I'm okay. So this guy here is he? He is not friendly. Is uh, not friendly. So everyone behind me is friendly. Everyone behind is friendly. Yes. But these are those, two here are ogres, are and these are hill giants. Correct. Okay. So in that case, then I'll just move a bit. No, I'll move it back. Give the ogre and ogres. 
Oh, so the going? ogres are in front of the ogres. All right. Did you want to disengage or? Well, I can't. No, you can't. Disengage. Is there the action bonus? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right, I'm right, just, right, right, I'm right. just moving back, and I'm not in direct combat with anything, am I? Um. Yeah, because you're moving out of their threat zone. Right. Yeah. If you move out of their reach, you get hit. Well, they'll swing. Well, I'm trying to calculate because these are ten foot squares, but you are quite big. Yeah, um, but then he's a ten foot square. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. ten foot size. Look, yeah. I'd say you would provoke from those those two unfriendlies, simply because okay. you're you're a big boy. If you're a medium or large, I'd oh no, you are large. Are you large or huge? I can't remember. Large. He's large. Large. Yeah. Look, I think you would provoke it. Um, right then. If if that's the case, then I'll just stay put. I guess. Yeah. Seems. I think I think that makes sense. Yeah, I'll just stay put. All right, Zulu. Is he still on this guy? Uh no. So he's going to fly uh behind uh Sugo and like hug his back, um like like sit floating behind him and uh get ready to help me out with something. Okie dokie. So, no worries. Yeah, I guess I guess he can just stay there, but yep. he's behind Sugo. Like on okay, Sugo's yep. Board. Same as Batty. All right, so Bat, yeah, what's yeah, Bat Damon doing? Uh, so Bat's just, Bat's not doing anything. Okay. Uh, Belch Bag is going to, would there be room, given that I'm quite small and they're quite tall and these are just ogres, would I be able to like fly up to about uh, like here or here, like above the ogres? Where or where? Like here. Yeah. Like above them? Yeah, you can yeah, definitely cool. be above them. So ogres, get... ogres are large, so they're what? Like 10 foot maybe? Yeah, like 10, 12 foot. And you said the... the You'd be able to like clear them pretty easy. Tall. Yeah, yeah, yep. cool. So I'll fly... Uh, so what? 10, 20... Uh, yeah, so I'll do that. So then I'm... And then I'll cast uh, as my action. He lift... He, lifts one grubby paw out of his robes and you can see he's got like absolute mr t bling except it's all just garbage like it's just crappy rings that are all chipped and stuff <laughs> um and one of them flashes with light and i am going to cast haste on sugo okay. nice um as my action and then which which of the like these guys, would I have the clearest shot at? Either, either. They're about um, same. Probably I guess the front guy would probably be the easiest target. That one. Are you aiming? Sorry, are you aiming for an ogre? Baby hill giant. Yeah, can, big I, can, hill I, can giant. I can I hit a, a one of that ba that baby hill giant? It's a bit bigger, right? So this I is a baby hill giant it. here. Oh, that's a baby hill giant. Yep, I'll shoot him then. Yeah, these are the, full sized uh... hill giants in the hallway. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're hitting um, this guy. I'll shoot the yep baby hill giant with the force ballista. That'll hit. Yep, and then I'll fly back. 10. Very nice. Twenty. Nice. Um, so the 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 blast of it just knocks him into the wall a bit. He's looking shaken and dripping blood. He's got a massive knife sticking out of his eye. Um, just the handle. And he's pushes like, him back as well. Yeah, apparently, which I had I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. So it pushed him into the wall behind him. Oh, you can't really see it, but he is in like a corner. Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay. Yep. 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 Cool. That's the lot. Okay. Turn. Allow me to do some things. I feel like this is just the uh, keep Suko alive and buff him. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, a bit. That's, that's just that's just good D and D. Barbarian oh, yeah, go yeah, at I'll, front, buff yeah. the barbarian, keep the barbarian alive, and let him yeah. just kind of do his thing. Yeah, exactly. Suko smash. So yeah, haste now. So you got what is it, seventeen AC? So it's gone up a bit, and uh, you can you now get four attacks on a turn. That's unreal. Cry. I mean, or you can. No, no, four. And I'm about to give them all advantage, so just hold out. <laughs> Holy shit. 
All right, so um, they begin to sort of pour through the doorway and just flooding this hall. Uh, all right, so we got three ogres are going to make their attacks at you. Ooh, there's some low rolls. My dice have finally gone That's the good. other way. So 10, 11, and 15. With the haste spell, uh, the third one tries to hit you, and you feel like things have slowed down a little, and you just sort of sidestep out of the way. In amongst, in, in amongst the melee that's going on, um, you dodge all of these attacks, and you guys just see him, like, ducking and weaving like crazy. Uh, all right. That is they. Uh, and the other blokes. <laughs> All of a sudden, nothing can hit you. Uh, that's a 9 and a 10. <laughs> so the, the hill giant youngsters attempting to slash at you. And you're just, you're moving. You are moving, mate. And uh, none of it connects with you. Very nice. Uh... This one will probably sling something from the back. 16, still unable to hit. <laughs> so, yeah, you are you are absolutely Neo. Just <laughs> yeah, ducking, perfect. dodging, nothing can hit. And that is all the ogre turn. Really in your up. Oh, wait. The good guys. So the good guys are oh, going to yeah, try and hit yeah, the yeah, young yeah. hill giants. Yeah. Uh, again, makeshift sort of projectile stuff. They're running low on sharp objects, though. So this will be their last round of range stuff. Um, yeah, so they're, they're reluctant. They're not going to attack their their own ogres. But the young hill giants, they will attack it. So I'll just make a handful of attacks ranged. hope these guys actually hit. <laughs> yep. So... Um, they're all just chucking anything sharp they got. They they have quite a lot of, you know, weaponry. And just this hail of sharp objects just batter this guy in the corner here and actually pin him to the wall. Uh, one of them pierces through his arm and sort of stabs into the into the wood behind him. And yeah, he, uh, he sort of... Ugh, and uh, the, the blade rips up through his bicep. And he drops to the floor. Beautiful. Let the body sit the floor. <laughs> uh, oh, there were two there, apparently. Jeez. All right. Now it should go, Aurelian. Um, are all of these guys enemies? Uh, yes. And the one directly next to Sugo. All righty. Um, 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 um. Uh, yeah, I'll cast uh, Erupting Earth centered, you know, in that point, so to hit those four squares. Okay. Do you want to link uh, the skill? Sounds cool. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah, no, it's a nice spell. Third level spell. Nice. And Earth and Stone centered on that point. Death save. Okay. Ooh, um, so I'll make that's two baby hill giants, one ogre, and a normal hill giant. Death save, is it? Yep, Death 16. Save. Cool. Oh, got the last one. Yeah. Okay, um, so. Three, take full damage, one succeeded. Cool. Good stuff, good damage. Yeah, it's like nearly like 80 damage off a third level. Oh, sorry, 24 blood, gotcha. That's Indeed. Nice. Very nice. So the, the earth beneath their feet begins to churn and rumble, and it just sort of explodes upward in, in like a shotgun blast from the floor, and just peppers them with rock and all manner of sharp objects that have been sitting on the floor after being thrown um and yeah they'll take quite a quite a bit of damage the one at the front is sort of near enough to the 
to the kitchen doorway that he manages to duck out of the way, but the rest top take it full. Very nice. Um, that that square remains uh, difficult oh, does it? terrain. Oh, yep, cool. remains difficult terrain awesome. until cleared. It's not concentration. It's just fucked okay. up now. Nice. Messed up now. Very nice. Why? Thank you. Good, uh, good catch. Yeah, saved it. Correction. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of my turn. Saved it. Uh, requires one minute to clear my hand. Nice. All right. Uh, Vrados. All right. So, um, little Zulu is going to use his reaction to allow me to cast a touch spell through him. On Sugo. On Sugo. So I'm going to okay. cast Greater Invisibility. So Sugo nice. becomes invisible until the spell ends, no matter if he attacks or anything. Oh, Ooh, shit. very nice. Um, so yeah, Sugo is now fully invisible. Cast at fifth level. Is that uh, what? Yes. Okay. I only have fifth level slots. Oh, ah, okay. How, uh, cool. So that's how in work. the middle of um, moving at the speed of sound, getting out of the way of all of these attacks, almost impossibly, Sugo then just whoosh, and vanishes. Um, does that mean, um, would Bat Damon be visible? Does Bat Damon get invisible too if he's clinging onto his snake? Anything the target is wearing or carrying. I mean, he's basically wearing him, like a cock ring. Like technically Bat Damon is closer to his flesh. Yeah. (laughs) Yep, this is true. All right, I'll say it applies to him as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, you are now invisible. Yeah. Uh, he's not, not between the cheeks. He's like hanging on the back of the shaft. He's he's down near scrote territory. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Any other uh, bonus or move? I uh, just move redotted, avoiding the grease puddle if that's still there. He's it just is. gonna uh, move around and uh, yeah, kind of soldier up behind these ogres. Okay. And that's that's me done. All righty. It is Hill Giant turn. So, as... Um... Oh, let me just move things off screen first. I think that means the orcs are dying. <laughs> yeah. I told them yep. they'd be safe there. I actually feel bad even though they're <laughs> just these little orcs. <laughs> and and we thought they there. would be. In our defense, we genuinely thought I did thought consider they going be. to the door yeah. and asking them to hide under the beds, but I didn't think it would help. I don't know, maybe they're just there, like, holding the doors shut. Well, oh, that, that would have been a better idea. You know what I mean? If, if they're just, like, standing there up against the doors, they're, like, big-ass heavy doors. I don't yeah. know, maybe. Or, like, Instead, piling the were... furniture. The wolves wouldn't be able to push them over. Hopefully not. I don't think I don't they know. would be, because I'm sure the... Like, the wolves will have sharp teeth, but they don't have, like, the strength to push open a door I mean, with two grown orcs holding they, them. They're dire wolves. They're, like, what, the size of a horse or something? Or yeah. yeah. They still wouldn't have enough strength to do that. Big, heavy doors with orcs holding them on the other side. But could, the only thing is because there's two. Like, I reckon if there was, like, both orcs up against a door, maybe. And also, it probably depends on which way the doors open. Do you know what I mean? Like... The bad news is they were definitely asleep and are probably very dead. Well, we'll Where find out one way or another. You'll find out one way yeah, or another. I told them to go have a rest. So. <laughs> just ha- oh just have a nice nap. It'll be great. You'll feel fantastic. Their, their blood is <laughs> I did not start this. They're dead, they're now free of their servitude. Oh, uh, man. You technically it's just like didn't a lie. horror movie shot. Like, you know, in, um, what is it? The latest Jurassic Park, like Fallen Kingdom, when like the whatever dinosaur is, the bit that was in the trailers yeah, of the like super the one. kid in bed and just like the silhouette of its <laughs> like, like against the window. So there's a dire wolf. Yeah. Like in Hook. Or a little bugger. Or um, what the start of... No, I was thinking like the start of um, uh, 300. Like when he's a kid and he's fighting the wolf and he's like just in the crevice. Oh, and yeah, like, yeah. Wolf yeah, yeah. Silhouetted. silhouetted. Gotcha. Fuck that. All was right. Crazy. Um, since they don't technically know that you're still there, Sugo, um, they can see Aurelian up on a broomstick and they would be able to see Vradoth there. Um, are you still skull visaged, Vradoth? Yes. You are? Does I've work? got like How does six more turns on it. How does it work again? Um, it's just, it gives me um, 
uh, temp HP if I hit someone with an attack. Oh, I okay. It's when you make hit a wisdom saving throw, and gotcha. um, yeah, it's not when they see me. I mean, they'd still probably be off foot, but they're not frightened. Okay. Um, then in that case, um, they will both piff a rock at you. Right off. Yep. Oh, still giant. Ooh, uh, oh no, never mind. You were thinking a reaction? Um, yeah, did you see that, uh, oh, hang on, I'll just link That again. ludicrous display last night? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled it before and I got a six, but it means I can only use it for, like, positive effects, not negatives, so don't worry about it. Oh, but, okay, yeah. wheel I rolled a six, world. so I get that, and I can use the wheel four times today. Yep. Gotcha. Nice, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I did see that roll. Um, cool. All right. So two rocks coming your way, right off. Yep. Cool. Twenty-one, and a crit. Okay, both hit. Uh, so the first one just like smashes into your skull face. Uh, yeah, it would. It would just smash into you. Uh, that's twenty-five bludgeoning. Yep. And the crit, um, you know, just sort of compounds onto the same spot, and you take forty-four bludgeoning damage holy Yikes. jesus yeah that's pretty that's rough six, that's 67 uh yes yes it okay is. so now i need to make two con checks yep so yeah, one was 20 25 damage there. so that's 12. Yeah, so 12, 12, 12 and a dc 22. 22. all right i might take that uh that wheel for that second one the 12 oh, for yeah, the first sure. rolling the first okay. Well, <laughs> that's a fail. Doesn't matter anyway. Bugger. Nine. Oh, so it drops on the first. Yep, so invis drops. Um, uh, and there's no effect on the second? No. Okay. Uh, so is that invis on Sugo? Yes. Okay. So Sugo just sort of, after they both Aww. chuck their rocks, Sugo flashes back into being exactly yeah, where he was, and they're like, ugh! <laughs> from any of these ogres or anything sorry say again would i not have got cover from these ogres or anything these are coming from hill giants they've got was, clear head and shoulders was above the rest flying no, no i don't fly no i'm flying yeah yeah uh did did they target him because you thought they could see him who's read off yeah because um, yeah. otherwise they just pegged a, a rock through about seven giants at once. These these hill giants are like 16 17 feet tall they've got a clear six foot above everything else no, about the same sizes. Yeah. Um, in my head, like I'm kind of picturing them the same size as Sugo. No. Another... Oh yes, they would be the same size as Sugo. Yeah, so Sugo can see over clearly as well. Yeah, and because the and are the little the little hill giants are they kind of ogre sized or like a yes. bit bigger than that? That's that's why I use the same ogre figure. Yeah. They're okay. basically the same as ogres, so they are about ten foot. Could you put just because I keep forgetting? You know, you can put the little tokeny things on the. Like, if you press that little circle button on the token, mm. you know, you can do, like, that or something like that. Ooh. Just because no, I, I keep on that. looking at them and forgetting which ones are ogres. And oh, which ones yeah, are yeah. Maybe All right. Um, just to make it easier for us to look at and be like, yeah, sure. what is happening? I, I didn't even remember that was a thing. I'll show you who the... Baby Hill Giants are that face. Yep. <laughs> the little tiki head. Little babies. Um, yep. un Unfriendly... Ogres are, uh, let's say, potions. It's rare. And then... Yeah, they've drank the angry juice. Yeah, they're, they're fuming. And then the rest are happy oh, poopy times. Ones. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Ninjas. Ninja? Yeah. Does that help? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good yeah, idea. I completely forgot that was the thing. I was looking at it and I was like, oh my god, like... I yeah, it's forgetting. a bloody mess. <laughs> Cool. All right. Uh, so that is the Hill Giant's turn. And um, make a perception check, Suga. Just in the in the midst of everything. Okay. You can't really... You're not aware of what I was looking for. So that's fine. Uh, it is your go, Mr. Ndezi. Suga Ndezi. Um, he heals for 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Man, she that, oh, that yeah, rock crit was rough. Oh, yeah, it was. That was some good rolls, too. 
So the damage yeah, on, so... on a single rock is 3d10 plus 5. Is that noodles? Yeah, token? Like... They look like noodles to me. Um, no, it's potions. Oh. Alright, what would you like to do, Sugo? Uh, so... Sugo smash... Hmm. I get four attacks now, don't I? You All certainly do. Attacks. All with advantage. No, because no you're not advantage because you're not invisible. Oh, that's right. You are now visible. Yeah. All unless right. you're unless you're reckless. If yeah, you're reckless, too many people that can. Yeah. Hit me, I'm not gonna there run. are a lot yeah, of things. Not that if you can kill hit. them all. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. No, well, before I kill them all, I'll just kill the one in front of me first. All right. So Sugo smash. Sugo smash. You're gonna wail on the first guy. Remember, not advantage. Nice roll there. Yep. Nineteen. That is a hit. This is attack one. Keep track at home. You're so 20. that's um, 20. And he will make a strength save to stay standing. That's a 20. He's good. Second. Nice. Uh, so you go attack. smash again. That is a hit. Did he fall prone? Nope. No, he that didn't. First one? No, I didn't. 18. 20 plus 3. So 21. And he'll make another strength save. Ooh, that's a natural one. So he flops onto the floor. Um, just just the, the force of these swings sweeps him off his feet. And he slams to the floor. Pro. How's he looking? Now you'll have advantage on your third strike. He's, nice. He's all right. Uh, he's got some big slashes and a lot of blood, but... All right, this one's going to go right between the eyes. Remember advantage. Yeah. Oh, lucky it was yeah, advantage. Right. God. Yeah. Yep. So that's a hit. Ten. That one's not as great. Eleven, fourteen. Um, and he falls so prone that he stands back up. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works, right? And he's it he's looking. Off the floor. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> he's, he's he's looking pretty bloodied at this point. Um, he sort of. Uh, he's got he's got a bit of a head of hair. This guy's not so bad looking. And for this slash, I'm gonna go cut off that head of hair. Gonna chop him right at the top of his skull. To like You're gonna try and him scalp and him. The top part of his brain with it. Okay. So go smash. Advantage. So roll again, just just oh. in case you get a twenty. Nice. Yep. So that's a hit. And 16 slash. That's 16, some big 9, 25, 26, 27, yeah, 28, nice. 29. And that does finish him. You do manage to shear off just the top part of his head. Just... And uh, true anime style. It's like slow motion. And then just... And he, he falls up dead to death. Damn it. Yay. Sugo smash. Sugo definitely did smash. Oh, whoops. Sugo smashing later. Oh, please. That's for sure. What the hell? I would... Where are those go. ogres at? That turn. So, cool. Alrighty. Uh, that will be the end of your turn. Zulu. Uh, he is going to just keep hugging behind um, Sugo. Okay, Bat Damon and Belch. Uh, Bat Damon just keeps on just hanging on like he does, <laughs> gripping that um, wean. Mm -hmm. Okay, he and Belch. One of the spells damage rolls. Okay, so cool. So, <clears throat> um, Belch is going to cut. Uh, so he's going to pop out just to like here, and he's gonna he points at like right there and kind of sticks his fingers in his house in his mouth and whistles mm -hmm. points and goes Sue <laughs> and a whole bunch of tiny little like wind up mechanical pigs just fall out of his <laughs> robes and just start like scurrying down towards there okay and they're all and they're all kind of like ticking as they <laughs> and then uh so he, he's casting so where are we bunch. aiming sorry here yeah, right in the middle well, I was kind of hoping, because it's so I'm casting shatter. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so because it's a it's a ten foot 
cube. Uh, sorry, it's ten foot circle. And okay. so, because each of these are ten foot, right? Yeah. I was kind of hoping if I cast it, like. Yeah, you'd be able to hit. The I could. Yep. I could get those three. Yep. I'll allow it. Yep, cool. So they all have to make a DC 19 con save. Okay. Uh, all failed. Yeah, sick. They all take 17 thunder damage. Ooh, very nice. Good damage. And uh, any non-magical objects that aren't being worn or carried there kind of just shatter so it's when they when they blow up it's more like a like a sonic explosion than like an explosion explosion okay nice yep so just uh <laughs> yeah and yeah you see a bunch of the um bunch of the sharp objects that your ogres have had chucked they all sort of just like shatter and disintegrate on the ground and a bunch of the rocks and all that sort of stuff that from the erupting earth all just paced away into nothingness mm -hmm. um, nice. do any of them obviously look more hurt than each other anything like that um the one that's sort of half behind the doorway is looking pretty hurt the rest don't look too bad no it's okay i'm gonna just shoot that one the old uh so the forced... hill giant yep the old force ballista Ooh, that's a hit. <laughs> Just watching the destruction that your little piggies wrought. Um, he's getting a little chub. Boy, he's... 19 force damage. Very nice. And then I'll duck back. Okay. Behind the door there. Cool. All right. More ogre turn. Would it? I don't know if it had. Uh... Oh no, it's it's in a corner, isn't it? Never mind. Okay, so sorry, just moving. Jerks. Okay, so. Still reluctant to, to hit their own um, guys. I'd, I'd say using their action, um, the ones closest to you, so here, will we'll try and dissuade these guys, the acid boys. So ninjas are going to try and dissuade the acid boys from hitting Sugo. Gotcha. All right. Um, so I'll give them advantage because there are quite a number of them. Can I um and they're use, witnessing things. Can I use the flash of genius to to help them yeah, to sure. help convince them? Is it an action bonus? It's a reaction. Yeah. Uh, right, so uh, yeah. Can, can I uh, wheel that as well? It's just sure when thing. when you or another creature with you can see within thirty feet makes an ability check or saving throw, you can use reaction. So just to one of the ones that I can see. Yep. Yeah. So um, that that leader sort of one, I'll I'll use it on him. And uh, that gives him a plus five. Plus five. To okay. the roll. And what it's was wheel? Five. Five. Okay, so he gets plus, plus 10, ten with advantage. We'll see how he rolls. Okay. Uh, so that is. He rolled the 10. So that's 20 total. And see if he will listen. He has rolled above him. Excellent. So. Um, just seeing the force of Sugo splitting apart these hill giants with apparent ease, um, that helped sell this. They they begin talking in giant, and uh, yeah, they're just sort of harsh guttural sounds uh, that you would understand, Sugo, and you belch, but the other two, you'd be like, um, I don't know what's happening. Are they just snarling at each other? Um, but... Uh, it appears to have been successful, and they do not attack Sugo. Brilliant. Um, are, they like, do, are they kind of like backing away or anything, or are they just kind of like standing there, like 
looking at him. I'm just I'm just weighing. Um, so yeah, they they wouldn't understand the full like this is a revolt sort of deal. Just that not to attack Sugo, he's an ally sort of deal. So um, yeah, I I would say they might try and try and back out of the back out of the way a bit and give some space. Um, the small hill giants, however, will continue. So they just kind of like, we don't really understand what's going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> uh... you, you got, okay, whatever, this is confusing. Hands up, back away quietly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just trying to get out of there. Um, so. Uh, the baby hill giants will make some attacks at Sugo. Sugo, bye bye. Yep. So you got extra two to your AC from haste. Mm -hmm. Now you didn't you didn't end up using reckless, did you? No. Okay. Good good choice. Not gonna lie to you. Oh wait, what am I doing? I feel like that would be better on a one on one situation or a party yeah. on one, as opposed to you know I have five guys with my vicinity that could hit me in one shot. Okay. Yeah. Would would an eighteen hit? Yep. Okay. So one missed. One hit, and then someone threw something at you. It'll be reduced damage, but... Uh, so that's seven bludgeon, and then uh, six piercing. Well, that's not too bad. So, oh, when does the healing spirit go? It's got one more. Oh, okay. Is it on Suko's turn? Yeah, it's... it's yeah. yeah, whenever his turn comes up. Yep, yeah, cool. <laughs> um, all right, Aurelian, you're up. Um, there's like definitely not room for me to stand there, is it? Is there? No. Uh, uh, what you can't see is that there are like two in some of these squares. Okay. So yeah, it's it's packed. It is packed to the nips. Like if you if you look at an ogre, they are large creatures. So the fact yeah, that yeah. they're yeah, all in there, it's fairly tight. It's a twenty foot wide hallway, and they are. Yeah, yeah, it's the Chunky brush out the subway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna touch Vradoth and cast uh, fucking where is it? The uh, 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 Hecken. Uh, <laughs> Nailed it. So you could have played that off as you said. If I can. <laughs> uh... I don't know. I like to say. So you're casting what? Sorry. Uh, there it is. Uh, Cure wounds. Ah, oh, cool. In my tier two. No whackers. Good plus that. Plus, plus that sickle. Plus that. E thirteen. Very nice. Um, yeah, that's my turn. <clears throat> All right, Vradoth. Uh, Vradoth gives Aurelian a very curt nod, um, and he's going to greater invisibility again. Okie deck. Sugo. Alrighty. Another fifth level slot. And yep, Sugo. Sugo invisible. This time he is going to take a step backwards. Okay. Um, no worries. That is now my turn. Oh. Um, so one that I forgot. Um, this door bursts open behind you on the... Um, on the ogre's oh, right on. turn. Totally forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, and the door would be left open so you can see up in. But, yeah, basically, are you still on broom, Aurelian? Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm on, on foot. You're on foot. Okay. So, uh, he wouldn't be able to get in melee, but he'll he'll chuck something at you. Sorry. I'll, no, put, I'll put the... Um, select... He is, whoops, this button, forgetting the buttons. Another small hill giant from out of that door behind you. Um, and something that, can, can I get you all to roll perception check? Yep. Just as a general thing. Just going back to that ogre turn, sorry. Did you get 20 on a natural one? Uh, a one on the d4. Oh, it right. goes ready for any of the dice yeah. you roll. Hit one. Gotcha. All right, so Vradoth and Aurelian, you would hear it very faintly, 
you can hear a clangor. So some sort of metal object is being belted repeatedly. Oh, good. You can hear it echoing in the hallways, uh, coming from straight ahead. Like you mean down like, past yeah, you go like straight down out? here. Uh, I can't see where you're pinging, but like going towards the entrance from or this towards way. the back way that we came. From from what you can hear, it's echoing down this hallway here. Okay, yeah. Alrighty, no worries. Okay. Like from there. Yeah, yeah. The the source of the sound is that direction. Mm -hmm. Um, and that guy is gonna piff something at you. That is a natural one, and it misses. So it just yep. chuck something and it just doo, sticks into the wall. Cool. Right off. That was your full turn, right? Yes, sir. Cool beans. All right. So, uh, Hill Giant is going to use his action to draw orders at the ogres that are retreating. Um, so he's going to try and intimidate them to get back and fight. And what's intimidation off? Charisma? Charisma? Charisma, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so he roars at them. Um as as like a bonus to try and get them back on side. And then he's going to he's going to chuck a javelin over No, he has a rock. <laughs> um so something you that I didn't mention around this place being that it's a giant fortress and there were guards stationed here um there are quite a, a number of large rocks like fist sized for a giant that just sort of lay around the edges like near the walls um and they are kind of preferred weapon which is why they're left everywhere and yeah, yeah. little hampers J just to let you know where these rocks are coming from piles of ammunition yeah yeah, oh, I just, just assumed little... that they were removing their testicles. And... <laughs> <laughs> um, so who can he see? He would not be able to see you very well. He might be able to see Vradoth around that corner. You'd probably both be about the same. So I think he'd aim towards you, Aurelian. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, but it's a miss anyway, it's an 11. Outstanding. Uh, so that just sort of shatters onto the floor next to you. And, and you begin to see figures. More dudes. Oh. Past the right. Skywalker. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Kill them all, Johnny. Execute order 66. Sorry, I'm just moving folks. And we've already killed a few of the younglings. My younglings! Sugo is Anakin, confirmed. Damn shame we're not outside, otherwise call lightning and I am Palpatine. <laughs> oh, nice. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. That's hill giant turn. Um. Yep, Sugo, you're up. So, so we'll, now you get advantage on all of your attacks. Yeah. We will make cool. this the last round of combat for the night, and whatever, wherever we leave it, that's where we'll leave it because it is nine forty. Gotcha. Yep. All right. So, um, the masks oh, right. are the baby hill giants, correct? The masks, the, yes. The tiki, yep. whatever the heck yep. those are. They're ogres that aren't allied these are ogres with us okay so this dude in front of me this mm -hmm. baby hill joint he's gonna cup a smack to cross the face with the uh axe okay Ooh, that advantage coming in oh hell yeah that is a hit mate you, you got an axe for giant slaying and it is paying it's slaying itself. for sure is it slaying Eight, six. Well, it basically and means five? That it's an, Is that right? an extra attack yeah, every time five. you attack. Pretty much, yeah. All right, this guy. I mean, like that one strength. did more damage than my actual normal attack roll. 
Okay, so he is not prone. I'm just... Oh, oh I didn't know I could do that. Oh, there he goes. It's prone. X marks the spot. Yellow. How yeah. long does rage last? A minute? Yeah, a minute or until you don't... Alright, so he is knocked prone. Okay. Next attack. I go to hatch it right into his stomach. So you could also hit this guy through the doorway. But I'm going to attack this guy Good first. One. Okay. Yep, another hit. All that damage. <clears throat> 15, 5, 4, and 3. I am meant damage. to be adding the extra three, right? Yeah. Yep. Five, four, so that's three. seven. Cool. Yep. He is already on the floor. Second attack. So three. Uh, this one, I'll crack at the guy in the door. Okay. To try and knock him down prone. Remembering you've got four attacks. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Go for it. <clears throat> that does hit. Twelve. Twenty-five. Yep. Twenty-five, and he is also prone. <laughs> cool. so Just knocking them on their asses. Looking? How's this guy looking here? Uh, he's looking bloodied, so he's he's fairly right. fairly hacked up. All right, so I tee him up the opposite way this time. Uh, to try to like s kill him and splurt his blood all over the guy on the floor. Okay. Powerful side swing, and he's not moving. So twenty-seven. Yep. That does kill him. Very nice. Little giant explode. Yeah. Just, I feel like everyone else is just seeing like blood splatter and these. You're just watching your axe just go up and nowhere. down again and again. Yeah. <laughs> until until Belchbag got up on the broom and he could see. All he could see was just like a whole bunch of ogres and just like sprays of blood coming yep. out from like above all the ogres. Yep. All right. Fourth attack. Was was that my fourth one? Or my third one. That was third. Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this guy that's prone again. Alright. No crits. Damn. Yeah, but Sugo still. Oh, yeah. Hard. Still gonna absolutely dominate. 26. Damn. 31. 31. 31. Uh, so he's still alive, but only just. Is he still on the floor? Yeah. Are you doing any movement or all good? Nah, just chilling there. Sugo, relax. Alright, Zulu. He is going to um, fly back through... Um, oh, his little icon's down here. But he's, he is on Sugo's square, so he's going to yeah, fly yeah. his 40 feet um, to Aurelian Square, and he's going to um, help action me on this guy. Okie dokie. Just again, kind of going down and, you know, yep. his claws Harrying. at the top of his toes. Yeah. All right. Bat Damon's still hugging Peen. <laughs> Belch bag, your turn. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, <clears throat> Alrighty. I'm going to bonus action pew pew the giant that's here. Oh, the young hill giant? Mm hmm. 16 will hit. Yep. So, looking at these things, they've got, like, leather wraps around their wrists and somewhat around their feet and loincloth. They are very unarmoured. Yep. That's what we like to hear. 18. So, 18, 18 damage. So, hitting pushes... him from the side. Yep, and it pushes him back 5 feet. Did that kind of push him back? into the door or like through the door a bit because I'm sort um, of what about I could, can I say that I kind of move like that yeah sure I'll allow it. would that push him through the door yeah push him sort of part way out through the doorway a little would it would it be enough that I could like run up and close like because I'm on the broom that I could just swoop up and, and close the door sure yeah, I, I'd I'll say do, so 
I will. I'll do that. Make a mm. uh, make a an athletics check, just because you are quite small and there's a big ass doors. Would that do it? Um. So you get I'll it. Deploy mo- some. Oh, I was gonna say, can I deploy? Can I use my last thingamabob to uh, my last flash of genius and oh, a yeah. whole bunch of like concertina um. A whole bunch of you know the sticky slappy hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a whole bunch of them fly out from his goo, and you hear the sound of a whole bunch of like uh, reels, like fishing reels, just like pulling it, <laughs> <laughs> trying to pull it close. Yeah. All right. So I'll give so yep. give myself I'll, plus five on that. I'll say that is enough yeah. to close this big door. The, the, the sticky <laughs> hands. The sticky slap. You know. You know what I mean. I know what you yeah. mean. Yeah. I don't know um, what they're called though. <laughs> the sticky slappy hands is what I'm calling sticky it. Sticky slappies. Um, uh, yep. And then I'm gonna use um, then as my action, I'll cast arcane lock on the door. Okay. It's slap hands. <laughs> yeah, slap hands. There you go. All right. So you lock that door. I'll, ca- I'll cast arcane lock on the door. I like slam it in his face and go and stay out. <laughs> And uh, have you set a password? Uh, yes. If you want to. Up to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I will. Uh, I'll set the, the password. I won't say it because I don't want the enemies yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But, like, out of character, I'll say the uh, the password that I set is concubine. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be pie crust. <laughs> <laughs> You can change Actually, your answer if you'd like. It's definitely pie crust. Yeah, just thinking about that bit crust. that's trapped under that chair. <laughs> pie crust. Pie crust. <laughs> Sadly. And then zips back over. All right, so these arcane clockwork sig- sigils sort of appear around the door and it um, you see this sort of wall of shimmering light hovering around the door frame. It's like a bunch of little spiders all kind of like embed themselves, like drill themselves into the woodwork around the frame and then it's like... Uh, yeah, each one's like projecting out this stuff. So yeah, the DC to break it, well, they they can't open it, and the DC is up by ten to tr- if they try and break it open. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so did you say greater invisibility doesn't break when he attacks? No, nope, only when I lose concentration. Okay. Also, can I just interject here? Um, uh-huh. Sugo, before you did all your attacks, I rolled the last healing spirit. You heal for 14. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Didn't add that. Good rememberizing. Um, all right, 14, so the one that you pushed out, 14. you can you can hear the uh, the fr- like the door rattling in its frame, but it does not budge. What did you say the DC was? To... The DC to break it or to pick any locks on it increases by 10. So whatever DC you were going to set for him, busting the door down. Up by 10. There's, um... Make a string. Hang on. There's a thing in... I would say, like, it almost looks like it's about to give way. One one more big uh, charge would probably break through, but it holds for this turn. Um, he, you heard him sort of move and then get a little run up probably and smashed into the door with his full force and it did not break open which is pretty impressive did he break his nose <laughs> yeah do we hear an ow oh, ow my nose i broke it on the door <laughs> no you do not hear that i tell you what It'll that be fun, was shit that when it alerted the others I mean, it was, was go pretty take obvious what was happening there, <laughs> and you let it happen. You have to remember. You cannot blame it, him. Stop yelling. <laughs> so you have to remember that it is Sugo. Yeah, it he is Sugo. He was well out if of his depth. He did character, miraculously. I would have been like, no, you're not going anywhere. But it's Sugo. <laughs> yep. He's like, yeah, probably, I'm gonna go take a shit. Belchie. Yeah. Okay. It's probably on yeah. Belchie more than anything. Belchie is just wistfully thinking of pie crust. <laughs> oh, you rolled so bad on those perceptions. Man, oh man. All right. Yeah, and oh, that was it. And also because Belchie just didn't even notice. Yep. All right. So, so he's these three... Like he said he was going to do. These three baby baby hill giants are going to make an attack roll at Sugo. They'll be disadvantaged yep, because you're invisible. 
I don't know why I'm mad. This is, as far as I'm concerned, this is going perfectly. Oh yeah, 100%. Sugo's smashing everything. So the Sugo's first... smash, he's got yeah, plenty of health. Of giants in this the first is 5 bludgeoning. It's a 21 to hit. Shit. You're lucky it was a disadvantage, because it was a crit. Oh, shit. Uh, the second misses. And the third also misses. So one gets a lucky hit in. And... Uh, they're going to move up beside you. Where's the double ups? I know there's a double up somewhere. Yeah, you. You, you little turd. Um, going to attack that hill giant. This is another of their bullies. So, going to just make a few hits. Wow, all hit. Uh, so he takes a, a bunch of damage. And um, I think that's all of them. So the ones that went back into the hallway have sort of moved out of sight. Um, but they're definitely out of the way. Okay, cool. Aurelian, you're up. Aurelian? Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's Is that Grease still there, by the way? Uh, I think it lasts a full minute, so yeah, it'd still be there. Yeah, ten, I've been counting ten the rounds, but... It hasn't uh, been ten turns, that's for sure. Yeah. And I'll just move to there. Okay. Um, and using an action, reach into my bag of holding and pull out a spell scroll. Nice. And that's it. Um, So I'd say that would probably only be a bonus, pulling something out. In which case, I will then read the spell scroll, and it will cast Healing Spirit again at third level, centered on Sugo. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> ah, amazing. Roll that heal. Yeah, for future reference, we'll have, like, putting away or taking out an item would be about a bonus action. All right. From, from a bag of holding? Yeah. Well, could, just because in the description, the bag of holding literally specifies that it's an action. Yeah, it specifically oh. says an action. Because it's different to a backpack or the have a yeah, sack. Yeah, because like, well, you, you, you have to put your hand in and like think of the item. Yeah, that's think true. Of the item or something like that. Because otherwise you get like pay? one free item interaction. So that's why... It's yeah, yeah, because that's like you can draw. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um. All right. Well, we'll. I'll give you that one. I'll give you the heal. But from now on, we'll play it as it's written then. If it says yep. it takes an action, yeah, it takes an action. Yeah, from a bag of holding. But yep. if we're getting it out of like our backpack. Yeah, yeah. Bonus action. Absolutely. Alright, um, well, yeah, that's it. Cool. Uh, Vradoth? So, I don't think if I stepped out behind these ogres that I could see any of the baby hill giants, right? Um, yeah, that's probably about right. Like, there's enough hill giants in the way. And you, you could see the hill giant at the back. But the baby hill giants are about on par with the ogres, so it'd be hitting a piece of hay in a haystack. So I could still hit the big hill giant in the back? Yeah, yeah, you'd still be okay. able to see him up here. All right, cool. So I will... Can I do that from here, or should I step forward first? Mm, I'd say you, you might need to, like, squeeze him with Aurelian. Yeah, well, I'll probably, like, squeeze past him and move over to here. Yeah, sure. Um, and then I'm going to just, like, hold my... Scepter fourth and three Eldritch Blasts go piling out at him. Alrighty. Roll them hits. They are all hits. Cool. So the first one, I'm doing the double necrotic damage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so <13 laughs> necrotic. Yep. Um, and then the other two... 19 force and he needs to make a wisdom saving throw for each of those three attacks so but if he fails Seven the first one well he's gonna fail oh i take it back it's a natural 20 on the first yep so second and there's a 14 that's probably fine yep, so that fails so he's now frightened righty all frighty cool beans uh there's probably a frightened thing isn't there ah Whatever that means. Cool. Any bonus or? Uh, I... Yeah, I don't think I have 
um, anything else to do, so I'll just uh, kind of try and lull myself behind this ogre, but yeah. Okay. That's going to be done. And the final round. So feared, he has to um, move full movement. Is that correct? No. So no. It's just, oh, so, yeah, it's that's turned. Minus, it's just if I'm in line of sight, he yep. gets disadvantage, and he can't move closer to me willingly. Okay. Um. So. I'll ch I'll chuck it in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Um. He's going to try and throw a rock at you. But. Yep. He, he can't see Sugo technically. So he's he's pretty much chucking it straight down the hallway. There is yeah, an invisible Sugo in the way. So I'm just going to make a straight roll. Because... Does Sugo have cover from the ogre? Oh, the, sorry, the no, thingy. He's, no, he's throwing the it, no, baby. He's throwing it over him, yeah. But he's he's six he's foot taller it. than the baby. Oh, yeah, of course. Yep. And he, get, he gets disadvantage on the throw as well because he's frightened mm -hmm. of me. Yeah, so what, what I'm saying here is because Sugo is directly in the way of where he would be throwing it, I'm yep. going to roll it just a straight roll. Um, or I could roll it at disadvantage and it could hit Sugo potentially. Um, when something's frightened, it's got disadvantage on all attack rolls, so long as the creature that's giving it the frightened effect is still within eyesight, so he's going to have disadvantage either way. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we'll roll disadvantage. Um, and he has disadvantage. Oh, no, that's a... I'll, I'll just roll a d20 on my side, and if it's yep. above whatever your AC is, then it'll it'll hit Sugo instead. Okay. So disadvantage first. Uh, where's his things? 24. Disadvantage. Um, yeah, they get a plus 8. Jeez. Jeez. Oh. All right. Well, let's see. All right, so if it's above a... What's your what's your AC, Sugo? 18. Mine, or... Sugo. 17 right now. 17. Okay. So if it's a 17, it'll hit Sugo. If not, it will hit nothing. Okay. Okay, it was below. So just just a weird interaction that where he was yeah, throwing it, 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 Sugo was like directly in the path. Um, so it does not hit either of you. It sort of just smashes into the wall. Um, oh. And the fear has played its effect pretty well. Yeah. Now, on this note, this is how we'll wrap up for the for the time being. <laughs> you see, blast through the doorway, a. 20 foot giant craggy skin and furious you see uh, another hill giant at the doorway you see one coming up the hallway actually you see two but one uh, one here will be able to attack remove 30 40 so from the clangor of the bells you are beginning to see reinforcements arriving um from what you can see there's at least four four or five a number of figures beginning to emerge and they're looking pissed that seems like a very boss-like giant. Uh, 20 feet say that. is oh, quite just big. The, you know, just a guess. Gold. <laughs> so a 20-foot giant is uh, what, four foot above a regular giant. So that's that's kind of fire giant height. However, um, he is not a fire giant from what you can see. But at that note... Um, I will add them to initiative. This is just beginning. It is just yep. beginning. A turn. Um, let me look it up in D and D. D and D B. But yes, it is sort of just ramping up now. Uh, well, initiative on him. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. 
And that, my friends, is where we will leave it for now. In a hallway thronging with ogre bodies, Sugo absolutely covered in gore, with a big smile on his face, the same size as the hill giants, and reinforcements showing up, the back lines just popping shots over the top. We will pick it up there next time. And nice. thank you Super spicy. for playing. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. you. Yeah, thanks, Ty. No whackers. We will resume again next Sunday. But thanks for playing, lads. Have a good night. I'll uh, no, talk to you later. Yeah, no worries. Salah. Salah. Salah.